Hello viewers, welcome to Bulls vs Bears Trading Academy. In this video, we'll be discussing the intraday movement of Nifty and we will analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow, that is 26 September 2019. Let's see a disclaimer first. This video is for educational purpose only. No actual trading decisions are advised. This is not a tip, research call or an offer to buy or sell financial instruments. So we'll discuss the entire moment of Nifty today. So this was the yesterday's moment. This was the day before yesterday's moment and this was the yesterday's moment. Um, so today we opened with a gap down and the gap was around some 20 to 30 points. And the very first can candle was a uh, beer candle. See, it fell from 11,565 to 11,525 uh, it's a great moment in the very first five minute so it was confirming that the down moves was coming and yesterday itself I have given a trend line and since yesterday we were having a bearish sign on nifty and I was expecting a bearish moment so this was the trend line which got adjusted after yesterday's moment uh, in the yesterday's video, I have clearly explained how the uh, Nifty is how Nifty is turning towards downside. So yesterday itself, I have given the level of eleven thousand four seventy five. Yes, uh, just as this is eleven thousand four seven five. Yes, yeah. Here is the uh, around here is eleven thousand four seven five, which got achieved today. Uh, since yesterday. If at from this point we were expecting the 11,475 to hit and we achieved it today so see uh, currently uh, nifty's movement is towards the downside I'm not expecting any up move uh, suddenly towards the up um, the levels which I have for tomorrow are Eleven thousand three not eight. Eleven thousand six thirty nine, eleven thousand six nine four. So currently, these are the levels which I am watching for tomorrow's Nifty move. Eleven thousand four hundred and fifty nine. Uh, if we go into the intraday moment in depth, uh, see we have started here. We made a we were going down and uh, we made some consolidation or a pullback for the up and again we started going down so every uh, strong moment i mean every impulse like moment is coming towards the downside and uh, pullback is coming towards the upside there is no strength and here also uh, some good clue we have got uh, the gap down opening has given us a clue that uh, bulls have exhausted in buy, uh, in buying this market uh, we were rallying this market since Friday after the FM decision. Uh, it was a uh, this was a FM decision day, and next day we opened gap up, and then uh, and the very next day also it was a flat opening. But it uh, today is the first day where we opened a gap down. Uh, it is indicating that the bulls have exhausted their buying and uh, bears are entering the market. Let's see how bears control this market from tomorrow. Uh, bank Nifty switching to Bank Nifty. Uh, bank Nifty and Nifty are or Nifty both follow the same direction mostly. Uh, bank Nifty also opened gap down today and uh, made a down move. See a pullback for the upside came and uh, it made an impulse like move towards the down. Uh, so currently the levels for Bank Nifty. Uh, thirty thousand four one seven. 
29,000 seven nine six twenty nine thousand four three one twenty nine thousand one eighty eight. So these are the four levels which I am watching for tomorrow on Bank Nifty. Uh, if we analyze Bank Nifty in depth. Uh, yesterday itself uh, uh, we have given this trend line uh, this trend line connecting the high of this high this high and uh, this high uh, since yesterday there was a bullish uh, sorry a, a bearish momentum started i mean a down momentum started uh, since yesterday and today there was a gap down and we were going down uh, this was a small trend line which we used for the intraday purpose uh, when nifty started making some pullback for the up uh, trend lines uh, uh, help us. Uh, uh, trend lines are used to know the direction, a uh, short time direction or the long time direction. Mm. So, yeah, Nifty and Bank Nifty have finished. Uh, this is our WhatsApp group. Uh, this is our WhatsApp group, Bulls versus BS Trade Academy. Uh, the in the link for the WhatsApp group is provided in the description. You can join it. So it's uh, yesterday itself uh, we were analyzing Maruti. Uh, it was around 11:25. We have posted a Maruti chart, five minute chart, and uh, we have told that Maruti is a Maruti can be good for positional short from the given box if it gives downfall around one percent tomorrow, and in the following days gap downs are confirm for confirmations for it. See, yesterday itself we were expecting a down move in the Maruti. Uh, from around 7033 level to 7150 was our uh, range to short this uh, market uh, I mean short the Maruti so today Maruti in the intraday what I, what did Maruti do so in the intraday Maruti opened at 7000 fell uh, fell from the exactly 7000 level <coughs> and uh, and was making a lower low lower low lower low and a lower high lower high till uh, 6600 see in the intraday we how much uh, it was around uh, 5.7 percent uh, you can see it from here so maruti fell around six percent in the intraday uh, if you had just followed that analysis and had shorted maruti based on that uh, you could have gained uh, around 6% on that on Maruti today uh, the reason for shorting this Maruti was uh, uh, we were analyzing Maruti from the long term perspective to the uh, one minute chart so here uh, after reading this chart I got a confirmation based on maybe daily I suppose yes based on this uh, daily structure I, I expected Maruti to may go down till 5000 i am expecting maruti to come till 5500 or uh, around 5000 yes 5000 or 5500 can be the good level for maruti to come in the coming days uh, this doesn't mean that you you need to short uh, you need to short it tomorrow only no uh, there are confirmations for it uh, to l to see whether uh, maruti is going to go down till 5000 or uh, we are going to reverse from this uh, 6700 level only Anyhow, this is not an adv in investment advice. This is only for an education. So this was Maruti. And uh, uh, this is uh, Vedanta Limited chart. Uh, Vedanta Limited chart, I have posted it around 11.55 yesterday night. Uh, so I have given some levels and told uh, Vedanta limit uh, Limited, is, uh, it's good for upside if it starts showing some bullishness. Uh, so this is a trend line which I gave on a one one hour chart. Uh, so let's see how Vedanta performed today. So this is a one uh, one minute chart of uh, Vedanta Limited. Uh, we we opened with a gap down, and uh, we were we were st uh, sustaining that gap down at uh, one. 155 and 156 level 
so i was expecting vedanta limited to make some higher highs i mean to go towards the upside uh, but yes vedanta limited predicted its up move till uh, 12 in the afternoon and again it started making some down moves uh, see this is a stock market it is a game of probabilities uh, we need to work on the best probabilities that have good uh, chances of a uh, profit so and in a, uh, so this uh, this intraday movement doesn't change our perspective uh, we are still i am still bullish uh, if it if it uh, crosses some levels which i am watching mm. yeah that's all for today so this is our whatsapp group if you want to join our whatsapp group you can use the link provided in the description box and if you think this can help others please share it with the other traders also and support us through your likes comments uh, also subscribe to our channel to get the updates and also press the bell icon thanks for watching bye for now